beautiful, beautiful shot of San Diego. And, of course, the seasons are about to change. We're about 11 days away from the first day of summer. And this is also March is the National Nutrition Month. And joining us is Dr. Melanie Palm. And we're going to talk about ways that you can actually have some of these foods that are coming out now. I mean, we have so much produce here in California that we can get that skin glowing by eating right. I know we are what we eat. So okay. I thought we could talk a little bit about diet and how it plays a role in our skin health. And you're right. I, when I moved to California, I just I love all the produce selections we have. So we're going to talk a lot about produce. We're also going to talk about nuts and some other healthy things in your diet that help out with the skin. Okay. So I want my skin to glow. What, what's, what, we'll start on well, the we'll top start, Yeah, we'll start at the top and work okay. our way down. So, you know, surprisingly, cauliflower is a good source of vitamin C. We were talking on the break. I you love, love it. I love cauliflower. Yeah. I can eat it every day. And I tell patients, look for lots of color in your diet. You know, in general, for body health, for skin health, we want things that are anti-inflammatory. The more sort of basic mm -hmm. pH you push your diet rather than acidic things, which are things like processed foods, simple carbohydrates. If you're going more to complex carbohydrates, lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, your skin's going to be in better health. But red peppers, you know, citrus, so we have vitamin C in some of our citrus over here, and cauliflower are excellent sources. Vitamin C plays a really important role in our skin health. It's a cofactor for collagen growth. That's what gives strength to the skin. But it's also really good antioxidant, and it also helps tone skin, so it helps with dispigmentation as well. I, I talked a little bit about just the area in the Central mm -hmm. Valley and what we get. We know that we're going to have strawberries out as well. Don't you just love the idea of being here in California because it, this, with the seasonal changes, we have so many great great foods that yeah. come out of the ground off the vine. I know and I think our, our, our stores and our restaurants embrace that that whole farm to table and so really embrace that at, at home and when you're making your lunch choices um, during the week and we'll talk about good fats too because okay. that's really important to the skin. So I brought avocado, some almonds, walnuts are often talked about, sardines but some of these things that are good fats I've even got a little bit of olive oil here not only are they anti-inflammatory they've got a lot of vitamin E but believe it or not our skin membrane so all of our skin cells have a membrane. They're composed mainly of fat called lipids and cholesterol derivatives. So you want to get good sources of cholesterol to be mm -hmm. able to give integrity to your skin health. Um, you know, it's interesting. There's more and more research coming out that's showing from sunshine. It's not just UV light, but it's also infrared light and visible light that cause damage to our skin. And using a really rich anti-inflammatory diet, which has things like lycopene, which is found in yes. tomatoes, which is a really powerful antioxidant it sort of quenches that a little bit and it helps um, calm some of the bad oxygen that gets formed on our skin when we interact with um, the sunlight during all of the sunny days that we're now having again in San Diego and then you were looking at um, sweet potatoes sweet potatoes so they had these when I was a boy growing and I up. love them I love yep. making um, sweet potato french fries just baked in the oven and they're a great source of vitamin A and vitamin A is really important to skin turnover we use it in some of our medications that help with things like acne but they they help sort of oh, how okay. our skin turns over over time. And then I brought some leafy vegetables. I often use them in a salad, so I brought a couple salads from a local grocery store. But spinach, kale, things that are darker green, they have a lot of good, dense nutrients. They're superfoods, so again, they're helping with sort of that antioxidant. And then just a couple other things that are a little bit more unusual. Dates are really neat. They actually contain copper. And copper is a cofactor for collagen growth. Hmm. So again, helps stabilize some of the structure to our skin. And then this was a mix of berries. But in particular, it does have some quinoa. And everybody loves quinoa now. And it's a really good source of riboflavin. And riboflavin helps with some of the elasticity in our skin as well. All righty. Dr. Melanie Palm, thank you so much. Keep it fresh. That's I for know, sure. I know, right? Always. All righty. Thank you so much. Hey, let's go to...